Yes, guys, welcome back to the channel. I want you guys to hear how it feels to drive an Audi R8. Music to my ears. In the last episode on this car, I went down to see my guy Valentino, where we done a ton of work on the interior. We got a brand new steering wheel, well, retrim steering wheel, and it came out amazing. Well, in this episode, I'm headed down to a company to do some paint correction and paint protection on the exterior, and then we can finally wrap up this build. It's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be mad. Roll on the video. So after an uneventful drive from East to North London in the morning traffic, I pulled up to Adonai Car Studio. I'm here to meet someone called Fabio who specializes in automotive paint. And as soon as I pulled up, Fabio got straight to work and we're gonna be meeting him and he's gonna be telling us everything that's wrong with the paint on my stolen Audi R8. So now that he's had a look, let's go meet Fabio. I've got my guy Fabio here. Fabio, it's yeah, nice to nice meet you. To meet you I actually went down to Enhanced Plates. I was getting some plates done for the R8. And this is how you organically meet people. I was getting some plates done for the R8. I met one of your mates that says, lovely car. He's going down to get some PPF and other stuff done on the paintwork. Yeah. He introduced us and here we are. So I brought the car down because in the last episode I've done quite a lot of work on the interior but you guys specialise in paintwork and exterior or better yet, you tell me what you guys Yeah, yeah, we, we are specialising to do um, point correction here and ceramic coating yeah. and all related about car aesthetics yeah. like sound, BPF, yeah. uh, lights, yeah. skylights, oh, wow. ambient lights So you do lights? Yeah, 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 we do nice. all this kind of stuff here and these car points look very good yeah, the so only the thing that means so is Yeah. yeah. So guys, when I bought this car, I knew that, like I said in previous episodes, if I can get this engine started, so when I bought this car, the engine wasn't started, the interior was a mess, but I knew the exterior was completely fine, just to the eye, I, I was looking, it's never had any accidents, never had any damage on the exterior paintwork, this is all OEM paintwork, but Fabio, you found some issues with the paintwork, right? Yeah, yeah, there's a minute defects here, it's like swirls and some scratches, yeah. we're gonna polish it, Maybe in two stages we can remove everything. Then yeah. after we're gonna apply a, a Nazial nano protection. Nano protection, which is yeah. ceramic coat, right? Yeah, ceramic coat. This is uh, three years durability, 10H. Okay. This is the top hardness in the market, 10H. Yeah. 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 Okay. And then if that's gonna protect all the paint, I was thinking to get a bit of PPF on the headlights. How's yeah, that? yeah, yeah. It's the same. The PPF is a is a is another quality of product. Okay. PPF is is harder than the coating. So would you recommend PPF on the headlights or just ceramic coating on the headlights? I I'd rather PPF. So okay. So yeah. we're gonna go for PPF on the headlights. Um, I'm still thinking should I do PPF on the bonnet or not? But what do you think? PPF all from car is the best way to protect your car. Yeah. Yeah, especially in the wings, bonnet, uh, front bumper, this part here. Yeah. And easier. Yeah. The rest is okay with a uh, ceramic coating. Okay. Because there we receive a lot of stone chips from the front car yeah. when we're driving. So yeah, I want to make this paintwork as in pristine condition as possible so that when I do sell the car, I can get maximum money for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do the best we can. We're going to do, I was thinking also do the paintwork and do the hoodie as well. Yeah. Because the hoodie, we can wash it. So you can wash the hood and make it nice, then protect the hoodie as well. So you've got a protection for the hood? Yeah, I know. I didn't even know that. Yeah, so I work with the car pro as well. Okay. Where they do like nano protection pro thermal uh, seats, yeah. atmosphere seats, yeah. and audience as well. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it in your capable hands and you let me know what you think. But yeah, first, show us around and tell us what you found on the paintwork. Yeah. So, guys, earlier when I got here, Fabio used his special light. He's got, I've never seen a light with so many different shades. But anyway, he's got a light here and you went around the entire car and you found some swirls and scratches, etc., etc. Yeah, yeah. Normal when you look like this, you cannot see. Yeah. But if you take the light, you can see now the swirls. Yeah. You yeah. Can see. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can, you can see. see. This full car everywhere you're gonna go because this is when we wash the car. Yeah. In wrong places. Okay. They do wrong stuff. They damage your car. Yeah. Every time you go there, you come back with new scratches. Yeah. And this is the problem. 
is is taking out the shine of the car yeah. and long period the sunlight yeah. because the normal when it's sun get yeah, here and reflect back yeah but if you have a point full of a scratch this is gonna hold it there it will okay. not reflect okay this is the problem yeah so the swirls on the paint have you found as far as i can see there was no scratches not a single scratch do you find any scratches no or? i didn't find anything like Scratches. It's just the swirls. Yeah, swirls. And you and you're confident you can get rid of that? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. And I think this car is gonna look amazing after that. Uh, I can't wait, man. Yeah, I because can't wait. then after the polish, you you're gonna feel the point. Yeah. Totally clean. Yeah. And when we put the the done protection top. Yeah. Then even get more shine. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You, oh, you, you, you see, see very easy to to wash after that. Okay. Because uh, nothing can hold it. If yeah. You, if you put the bottom in the in the bonnet, you will see this is. Is yeah, the water's the just gonna, I've seen it on yeah, the internet, yeah, yeah. the water just beads off, isn't it? Yeah, and okay. the brand that work is is amazing. Okay. Yeah, we got two types of ceramic coating. Okay, we saw, I saw you, you were yeah. telling me that you use yeah, that brand there. We, I use the three years protection and the five years protection okay. in the car. Yeah. And this is single layer. Yeah. You don't you don't need to apply top by top by top as some some brands they recommend. Yeah. And as you all know, it's one line. Perfect. And that's it. Perfect. And you were saying that's the best in the game, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I try many coats here in UK, but I keep him preferred there. And where are you from there. originally? I'm from Brazil. Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you watch football? Of course. Who's your favorite player? Uh, Ronaldo all the time. That's the one. R9. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one. So guys, before I go, Fabio's going to do a little paint test to see if it's original paint or if it's been resprayed, if it's got any body filler under there. I'm pretty confident it's going to pass, but yeah, let's see. Oh gosh, it's a plastic. The entire tub is carbon fiber. And then here, yeah, here's the paint. aluminium. Yeah, 140. The okay. car have to meet this around 140, 160, okay. 145. Anything above yeah. is repointed part. Yeah, you know what? I'll give you, a, uh, I'll tell you a secret <laughs> about this. And to you guys watching, when you take a hired car or you get a rental or you get a, a car from the, um, the leasing company, when you are taking it back, this is what they use to see yeah. if you've had any damage and we sprayed the car. 145. 145. This, I advise everybody have one of these in the pocket. Yeah. In case you're gonna buy a car, yeah. you can take this with you. Yeah. Then you're gonna know if there's any part of so the car. So what's the range? 140 to 145? Yeah. And that tells it's you that a, it's, it's a it's a different type of varnish. This is different the brand. This is a premium varnish because it's a supercar. Yeah. It's like Mercedes, Lamborghinis, they go all different varnish, but I don't go over 170, 180. Okay. If you get a car 250, yeah. then it's wrong. Yeah. But the only thing, this cannot measure plastic. Okay. And only where there's a panel doors, no? Yeah, no. yeah. The, yeah. The actual metal but this the one is look like the same as there. Yeah. The same as there, yeah. 150, it's yeah. all on the, the standard. 165. Perfect. Good. Perfect. Guys, this Audi, man, come on. This has been the buy of the century. It's good. It's good. 140. Spot on. 125. So why is it that this at the rear is 125, whereas the bonnet is 165? That's a big because difference. Because sometimes the, the weather, how the point they they cannot make it 100 percent the same okay but, but they go like a, a, a range yeah yeah okay. range okay but this can get slow it's going down 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 yeah so this is one of the first cars here i take without any panel repainted perfect yeah yeah guys you've heard it first <laughs> this is the first car thank you brother this uh, is the first right. car that's come here with no respray panels and this is just further proof that this car was such a good buy. Later on in this episode, I'm going to be giving you the full spec list and I'm going to reveal how much I bought the car for and how much I've spent so far. So watch to the end. It's going to be a Mazza. So guys, this is Fabio from Brazil. Check out his company and we're going to be leaving the Audi R8 right here. I've still got in this episode, I'm going to be sorting out the windscreen and I need to nip to Valentino's place again to pick up some more interior bits. But for now, I'm going to be leaving it in the capable hands of Fabio. And when we come back, this car is going to look amazing. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, another thing, we're going to do this interior as well. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to wash the floors, the seats, the panel, the dashboard, the doors, everything. I appreciate it. I appreciate so that. When you get this car, you're gonna feel like this car is new again. Spot on. Yeah. This Thank is you very much, bro. Omission. Okay, yeah. okay. 
So I packed up my stuff, I jumped in a taxi and I headed back to my garage where I'm working on a secret project with Ricky from LLF. But the guys got straight to work and this is stage one where Fabio and his team completes a very deep clean of the vehicle. But even this basic deep clean, it goes deeper than deep. Check it out. So after the car gets a foam bath, Fabio and his team then goes in with these tiny little brushes to get into every nook and cranny to get rid of any surface dust, metallic fibres from the atmosphere. He went in and they've got their own cameraman who was kind enough to share all the footage with me so that you guys get to see the entire process. Now after a rinse, the car gets another foam bath. This is to make the surface as clean as possible because later on in the video, he's going to be applying a ceramic coat. Now during this process the soft top hood gets a deep clean as well before the entire car gets rinsed once more and then they go in with the finer brushes to get all the finer details. As you can see it's a repetitive process but this is what is necessary for a top notch finish and you'll see at the end of this video. So with the deep clean completed, the car gets one final rinse and this is what it looks like. Now the car's looking pretty clean, right? But this is just the beginning. Right now it's time for stage two, which is a clay bar clean and a deep polish. Now to the naked eye, I thought that the paintwork on this car was actually in excellent condition, but Fabio had other ideas in mind and you're gonna see the condition of this clay bar in a second. It's actually nuts, have a look at this. Whilst the entire car was hit with the clay bar, it was time to mask everything up and this is where the deep polishing is gonna begin. Fabio and his team then hits the car with several different compounds, several different mops to get the paint work as smooth as possible and this is also to eliminate any swirls, marks or minor scratches. Now speaking with Fabio, he explained to me that he only uses the best of the best when it comes to equipment and when it comes to products and these are some of the products that he uses and these guys really know their stuff when it comes to paintwork on cars. Now after that initial process, he goes over everything again. He's paying meticulous attention to the finer details and this is what I like. Now after a few more passes with the polishing machine, just take a look at how everything is just popping, it's just shining. That carbon fibre on the rear boot was looking a little bit tired, but Fabio's giving it a new lease of life. Next up, the side scoops gets the same treatment and the carbon is actually, oh my God, it is looking on point. Now I expected this entire treatment for the car, but Fabio went one extra step and done the key as well. Like, <laughs> this is just crazy. With all of that done, he uses several smaller polishing tools to get into all the nooks and crannies and to access some tiny gaps. Have a look at it. So 
So with the paintwork, carbon, badges and everything else polished, it's time for the headlights and that's it for stage two. Next up is stage three, which is a deep interior clean and they've even got a device to get rid of any smells from the interior of the car. After hoovering up all dust, particles, debris, the interior gets steamed, cleaned, wiped, the lot. I'll leave you to enjoy these shots. Once again, after the interior has been thoroughly cleaned, it then gets hit with some more polishing and this is just a crazy, crazy level of detail and I am just happy to be able to take my R8 to Adonai Car Studio. Now after all of that, the interior has been completed and it looks absolutely amazing. These are just the final touches to wrap up stage three. And next up is gonna be stage four, which is the grand finale. We're gonna be laying down that ceramic coat. So if the paint were corrected, cleaned, polished, buffed, this is where we're gonna lay that protective layer of ceramic coating so that my R8 is gonna look in tip top condition moving forward. Fabio is starting with all of the panels first before moving on to the finer details like the carbon, the window surrounds, etc, etc. I will leave you to enjoy these shots. So with all the panels and the trims completed, it's finally time for the headlights. And that's it for the ceramic coating procedure. The car is then left to cure for two days and this is the final product. In just a few days, Fabio and his team at Adonai Car Studio turned the paintwork on my stolen recovered Audi R8 from looking kind of okay to being an absolute showstopper. The interior has been completely transformed and this ties all of the hard work that I've put into this build together and this thing just looks ready to hit the streets. It looks mean, it looks clean, but most of all, it's looking in absolute showroom condition. Now, like I said, this was all filmed in-house at Adonai Car Studio and I haven't seen the car yet. So, in part two, I'm coming down and you're gonna get my reactions. Oh. Thank you. 
I appreciate it, man. It looks, oh, guys! Yeah, it, looks, it looks amazing. I remember being broke, never having nothing else to my name. I remember when no one believed in me, now they say I'm a star like Billie Jean. I wanna make love in the Benz, I wanna make love in the BM and Porsche. But loving the G-Wagon purpose, I know you can talk about the loud exhaust. I need a 4 5 watching if you enjoyed that why don't you check out one of my previous videos on the left there's plenty in the playlist and if you want to know more about the salvage game why don't you become a member of salvage nation and i'll be there to guide you along the way and don't forget you can follow me on facebook tiktok and instagram if you want to get an inside scoop before youtube